So here we are looking at the characterizations of invertible matrices. Now in this section, we are going to be reviewing most of the concepts from the very beginning of this course, so from chapter one. And we are reviewing these concepts in relation to systems of linear equations with n linear equations in n unknowns and square matrices. Now, the most important part of this section is the invertible matrix theorem. So here we are going to show that many of these important concepts, as we've already begun to see, are in fact logically equivalent. So here we go, the invertible matrix theorem. Now, to begin, we want to let matrix A be a square n by n matrix. Then the following statements are logically equivalent. In other words, for this given matrix A, the following statements are either all true or they're all false. So the first statement in this theorem is matrix A is an invertible matrix. Now think about how many different concepts you already know are equivalent to this. So if matrix A is an invertible matrix, we know automatically that matrix A is row equivalent to the n by n identity matrix. See that matrix A is row equivalent to the n by n identity matrix. Now, if matrix A is row equivalent to the n by n identity matrix, what else can we think of that's equivalent to this? Well, we know that matrix A must have n pivot positions. So matrix A has n pivot positions. Now this is, or these statements are logically equivalent to saying that the homogeneous equation has a, or has only the trivial solution. So the homogeneous equation, matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, has only the trivial solution. Now these statements are logically equivalent to saying that the columns of matrix A are linearly independent. So you can say that the columns of matrix A form a linearly independent set. So these statements are logically equivalent to saying that the linear transformation mapping vector x to the matrix equation, matrix A times vector x, is one to one. So you can say that the linear transformation that maps vector x to matrix A times vector x, the image of vector x under the action of T, is a one-to-one -one mapping. Now we know that this is logically equivalent to saying that the non-homogeneous equation has at least one solution for every vector B in Rn. So the non-homogeneous equation, matrix A times vector X equals vector B, has at least one solution for every vector B in Rn, which is logically equivalent to saying that the columns of matrix A span Rn. So we've already seen all of these, right? Well, we've seen the connections. We're just listing all of these amazing connections here. And we're not done yet. 
We know that this is logically equivalent to saying that the linear transformation that maps vector x to the image of vector x under the action of t, defined as matrix A times vector x, maps Rn onto Rn. So we have the linear transformation that maps vector x to matrix A times vec vector x maps Rn onto Rn. Which is logically equivalent to saying that there is an n by n matrix C such that matrix C times matrix A is the identity matrix. So we can say that there exists an n by n matrix C such that matrix C multiplied by matrix A is the identity matrix. So that's one of those properties that we verified earlier. So throughout this course, we've already been trying to establish that these statements are logically equivalent. So a, another logically equivalent statement is that there exists an n by n matrix D such that matrix A times matrix D is equal to the identity matrix. So there exists an n by n matrix D such that matrix A times matrix D is equal to the identity matrix. And another logically equivalent statement is that the transpose of matrix A is an invertible matrix. So the transpose of matrix A is an invertible matrix. So these 12 statements are logically equivalent. And again, this is what we've been building to thus far in this course. We've been establishing that all of these statements are logically equivalent so that we can draw connections from them. So now that we have this theorem, let's go ahead and take advantage of the fact that these are logically equivalent to provide us with some shortcuts.